Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create JWT authentication filter and the web security configuration file in the Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So here I'm going to create a new package. Inside the config package, I'm going to create the new class that is the JWT authentication filter. Let me extend this class with the once per request filter. On the top, I'm going to add here the annotation that is a add the rate component to make this class as a component in the Spring Boot application. And the second annotation, I'm going to add here that is a add the rate required ARGS constructor. Inside the class, I'm going to inject here the JWT util class. After the JWT util, I'm going to inject here the user service. After injecting the JWT util and the service class, I'm going to add here the method that is a do filter internal. You can see here the method that is a do filter internal. Let me add here the imports of the method. You can see here the imports of the JWT authentication filter inside the class. You can see here the method that is a do filter internal. This method will verify the token when we will access any authenticated API. Like with the authenticated API, we will send the JWT token in the headers. This method will extract the token from the request and it will verify from the JWT util file. You can see here the method that is a is token valid. In the argument, we are passing the JWT and the user details that we are getting from the user service. Let me check what is the issue with this. Now you can take a look of the JWT authentication filter class code. After this class, I'm going to create a new class in the config package that is a web security configuration. On the top, I'm going to add here the annotation that is a add the rate configuration. And the second annotation I'm going to add here that is a add the rate enable web security. Third annotation I'm going to add here that is a enable method security. And the last annotation I'm going to add here that is a at the rate required ARGS constructor inside the web security configuration class. I'm going to inject here the JWT authentication filter class. After this, I'm going to inject here the user service. After injecting these classes, I'm going to add here the code. You can see here the imports of the web security configuration. After that, you can see here the method that is a security filter chain. This method will handle the accessibility of the API requests that what request will be accessible with the token and the what request will be accessible without token. You can see here the line 36 where we are allowing the auth routes that is a login and the sign up that accessible without token. And you can see here the routes that is a slash API slash admin and the slash API slash employee will accessible with the token. Let me import the user rule. If the user want to access these routes, then we need to authenticate the request that we will verify the token of the user from the JWT authentication filter class. You can see here where we have added the filter before method. After this, you can see here the bean for the password encoder. This bean will use to change the password from the plain text to the hash form. And you can see here the method that is the authentication provider and the authentication manager. This method will help us to generate the JWT token. So let me import the user detail service from the user service that is a user detail service and you can see here error removed. Now you can take a look of the web security configuration. So that's all for now from my site. I will attach the video link in the description if you want to see the detailed implementation of the Spring Security. If you have any confusion, you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.